I think I have a problem when people say, you know, are you going to change the world? Because I think a lot of people change the world. You know, you can change the world in a bad way just as easy as you can change it in a good way. You can't just jump right to the solution and s decide you know what's best for people. Now I assume that many of you in this room are here for the Clinton Global Initiative University. Yeah, we went to St. Louis for a conference, um, and the conference was focusing on engaged scholarship. Part of our uh, model is that we go over to, or that we have a, a partnership with a village in Ghana, um, and we go over there and conduct ethnography research, and then use the research to form um, community development projects. SPEMA started out, it's a student partnership for international medical aid. You might be able to tell by the title, just as a standard medical service trip, duffel bag medicine, um, and we had two very wise leaders who really tried to dissect the trip and they said, is this in fact what people need? And they found that in fact medicine wasn't what people needed in Ghana. So we did the original survey process and then through that survey process the answer that came up the most as to what people in the community wanted was that public bathroom facility. And so we're not technically toilet builders. I for one, I salute your commitment. You are here developing theories that will one day solve the world's problems while your classmates are on spring break. Developing theories as to why they woke up in a hot tub next to someone wearing nothing but a horse mask. One of the most incredible things about the conference to me was being able to have that dialogue and say, oh, well, have you thought about this part of your project? And likewise, we had people say, oh, well, you ha have you thought about this part of your project? A lot of NGOs think that they can look from the outside in and decide what a community needs, and that's really just not the right outlook. It doesn't lead to ownership of the change you're providing. It doesn't lead to sustained change. A lot of what we're looking at is how do you use interdisciplinary approaches, how do we use the fact that you know we have fantastic faculty at William & Mary um, and that we can combine people from different departments and how do we use those different lenses to look at these problems um, because they're not easy problems to solve. What is the grift here in helping people? What's the, what's the other thing, what's your secret plan here? Because if there is, everyone would do it if it was just a good thing to do, but they don't. You're not going to see me making the world a better place. I think that, that Clinton brought a lot of humility into the response and just said that you, you give as much of yourself as you can and um, one, one thing that, that he said that really touched both of us I know is he said, um, I wonder how many people in prison right now are more intelligent than I am. Everything we've learned to help develop a community, you know, continents away is just as applicable to our own community here. So just applicable to just as applicable to William and Mary or, you know, wherever we'll be in the next one or two years. I do it because I think that for the life I've been given by the American people, I'd be kind of a slug if I didn't do it. I mean I should do it. I'd... Every cause needs a champion. And if we are going to be those champions, how do we make sure the causes are the ones that need the focus? I think everybody has to find their own reason deep inside for what's motivating this kind of dedication.